This one from the Muslim apologist says both, what is your purpose for existence? I'm guessing that's for me. I think they, uh, for both of you. Oh, this should be good then. Uh, to serve God and to serve others. <laughs> the definition of a calling. Wow. Okay. That, that sounds so abysmal. So Christianese. Yeah. I mean, to, to, to be a slave to an indomitable despot. Ooh, what a war. It's like the second part, though. The what? second part. The second part of what? What I miss? No, the, it's point one is to serve God. Uh -huh. And when you serve God, you flourish the most as a human being, joyfully, physically. Recent Harvard study came out with that. One came out in 2018, too, that we could go into. And then to serve other people, which is obviously when you're serving others and living for another person and loving, that's when the world is at its best. Okay, so, those so that, two, I think, that's the part I'm in. And you're also in servitude to an indomitable despot. But why are you in that part? Is my what's a good good reason for I'm our a, like, I'm a human like I understand it's a I understand it's a decent reason that Aaron could probably think, but why? I, because this, I understand this, there's not a great reward in in uh, being selfish, and self serving. But the the selfish naive though, like we like, evolved what, as a social animal. We need human companionship. Why not be a free rider? Because we care about other people, unless we're why? dysfunctional. Why? That, wh wh why would you do that? Because See, I have more of a motive. I just I, there's more, that. There's much more of a reason. Now, my reason could be totally fallacious, but there's much more of a reason behind my worldview as to why to serve somebody than yours, which is much more societally based, and supposedly we should just do it. I'm at least serving people that are real. Okay. Not, th see, not that's making something up and then and trying to to imagine that non sequitur. After I die, it my my death is not even relevant. We're talking about you know, the if if somebody is in need, and I'm able to help them, I can help them, right? And right. So I would do that. Right. And I do. Right. Why? Why would you sacrifice? Though is the whole question. Why would you sacrifice your own? Time, physical well-being, resources. I, mean, I could see you just doing it and just say for my common man. Does that person need help? But is that is that good enough? Like, why would you do that? Does that person need help? Does the person need help? Yeah. Uh, either way. Is their reason good enough? Does it have to be my reason? Well, if you're going to act, it has to be generated by... Some type of reason on your part. Yeah, if, if that person has a need and I and I'm able to fill it, you know, without without compromising my own ability to continue. Yeah, I would just say from that worldview, it makes sense to be nice, but not real, but not really nice. And what I, I mean by that is a distinction. And I, and I also <laughs> don't get from your perspective. Here's what I mean. What I mean is from your from the naturalistic atheistic perspective even throw humanism wh whatever D don't worry about it. just from what you've described i still don't understand why you would serve somebody over in malaysia who's really hurting i know you would because you, you are a good guy I, I, i've had many conversations with you but why why from your worldview would you sacrifice so much i, I just i can't get there well we, I, I would have to know the specifics because you know, there are, there are some people that are more of their own problem than you can deal with. I've had to walk away from, from personal friends that there's only so much that you can do. Notion Slave says, Atheist worldview, in the atheist worldview, we exist for no reason, no purpose, just a giant energy ball strangling itself. May as well believe we live inside of Barney's butt. Like Barney the dinosaur? I don't understand. What is the fascination? If, if, if you're not... The, if you're not the reason the universe exists, if the universe wasn't created just for you, if you don't have a special purpose, then you have to be morose. I, I don't get that. I've met so many Christian believers who really think, and one of them actually said to his own congregation, he admitted that he was completely irrational, and he had no justification for believing what he did. But he said, if if what you do five if what you do today doesn't ma still matter five billion years from now, then it doesn't matter now. He said, 
if he couldn't live for absolutely forever, then if he only had a temporary lifespan and that was it, then he said, then there's no reason to help anybody else. There's no reason to prolong life or to minimize suffering. You just may as well just hurt as many people as you want to. I don't remember. I don't think he said that last part, but he, he did say the other two parts. And I thought, that is the most nihilistic perspective I've ever heard from a guy who's arguing against nihilism. That was Ew. disgusting. If you can't live for you know five billion years, then then what you do to help somebody today doesn't matter today? That's just wrong every way possible. 